Today I'm going to be testing out a Linksys Powerline AV Network Kit and show you how it'll uh, set up and work here. Um, online review, so you're lucky to get 100 meg, um, but really the problem I'm trying to solve here by uh, putting the Powerline AV Network Kit is that I have you know, four different uh, TV devices between the PlayStation, the Wii, the Blu-ray player, and the Sony TV that all need network connections. And the last thing I, I want to do right now is actually run some new Cat5 um, and put in another switch. So I got this little Powerline AV network kit, which has uh, both the hub and the initial connector piece. So we're going to go ahead and uh, give that a try today. Ah, the good news here is uh, upon taking apart all the packaging, no real surprises here. Have the uh, four port uh, hub switch on, on the right and just the standard connector on the left. Great news, not only got two power cables, but also got uh, two uh, RJ45 cables, um, a CD and, and a manual. So we're all set to go. All right, we're going to do uh, the next step here, which is to plug the uh, initial uh, switch into the power line. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, connect it here to the power. Get it in there. Good. And go ahead and plug it directly into the outlet for the instructions. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go plug it in here to the uh, gigabit switch I have here so we can see the uh, best performance that we can get out of this particular uh, model here. All right, now we uh, got power light on. We have network light. Uh, we're looking good, so time to go on to the next step, which is to uh, hook up the other side of to the PS3. All right, we're about ready to hook up the second piece here, and I actually have my first criticism of the product. Uh, the power cord is only about you know three feet long, so if you have an entertainment system, um, it's likely you're going to have to place it in maybe a location you didn't want to in terms of uh, being able to get the connectivity there. So um, I'm actually not going to show uh, as I get behind the TV in here, but I'm going to have to do some additional routing that I didn't plan to do because the cord, the power cord, is too short that uh, shipped with the Cisco product. All right, we're ready to go with our first test here. I have successfully hooked it up to my PlayStation. Three with a 100 meg connection and I'm actually going to try to move it to my uh, gigabit device um, over the Cisco Powerline 200 meg network. I'm going to start with about a 301 megabyte file here, uh, moving it from Ubuntu Linux to my basically my Linux NAS device. Let's see how we uh, what the performance looks like. Well, two minutes to capture a or move a 300 megabit file, uh, megabyte file is not the greatest of performance, I must say. You know, 2.0 megabytes per second, what that translates to about roughly 16 uh, megabits. So um, maybe a little bit faster than the wireless, but uh, not great performance by, by any means. Just as a comparison here real quick, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try a different movie here, um, roughly about 200 megabytes in size. But what I've done is I've turned off the, uh, the network connection, which connects directly into the back of the uh, power line connector. And I'm actually just going to use wireless right now. Um, let's see how different the performance is. As you can see, the performance is uh, actually less with wireless. I'm getting about 1.1, 1.2 meg per second. So uh, definitely an improvement o over the power line uh, with the power line adapters and networking versus wireless. Um, I'm actually uh, running, I think, wireless G. I'm not running wireless N. Um, still, I, I say that I I'm pretty disappointed thus far in terms of the power line. Uh, to eliminate kind of the PS3 as a source, what I'm going to do next is actually try to copy from the PS3 up to the network uh, attached storage device to see what happens here. All right, we're going to make a try here to actually move it back to the network device from um, the PS3 to see if we get any better performance here.
So as you can see, we're running just a little bit under two megabytes per second. So definitely isn't a problem with the FPS3. Um, it looks to be about the performance level um, of the Powerline networking. I think the uh, 200 megabits um, per second uh, advertised on this Linksys pr uh, product is at least uh, overstated in terms of uh, being out of the box. I think what I need to do now is go see if there's any uh, possible tuning or uh, configurations I can make to it to possibly speed this up. But for a first time user installing it at home right away, um, just with the, basically a fairly new construction house in the last you know 10 years or so, um, in addition to um, not only being only about 15 feet away from the two power outlets, not great performance from the uh, power line uh, by Cisco Linksys.